Hey, it's your girl LMJ coming to you with today's sip, spiritual inspirational pause. And today we're just going to talk about dealing with the pride in us. Or as I'm saying, how do I deal with the pride in me? How do I overcome the pride in me? And this is based on uh, just a scripture I was meditating, a couple of things I was meditating on this morning. James 4 and 6 says, but he gives more grace, right? Um, he gives more grace to those of us that are humble, and I'm paraphrasing, but he opposes the proud, but he shows favor and grace to those that are humble. And I don't know about you, but I definitely need more of God's grace. And so God began to just, years ago began to show me prideful places in me and um i was not pleased with what i saw um i was confused with dignity versus pride or self-worth versus pride and god's will for us is that whatever begins in us it starts and it's dealt with in our spirit so let's just talk just a little bit about what pride does pride um pride focuses us, uh, us on ourself and when we look at ourselves from a prideful place, then we exalt ourselves in our accomplishments and our goals and in our self image. And when we deal with our lives or live according to our prideful places, then what we're doing is we're building ourselves on a very fragile foundation. Because if I build myself on my self accomplishments, if I build myself on, um, my goals or my self image at any time those things are taken away from me then there goes my self-worth right there goes my dignity achieving doesn't always and that's something i wrote in my notes today achieving doesn't always mean that we're good like that we're good or that we're necessarily successful or we're not okay if we're not achieving something right and so it's okay for us to pursue excellence right to pursue things because it's meaningful um that expands us that grows us as who we are as a person but pride should never be a substitute for our dignity you know our self-respect our appreciation right we have to have the right value as a person we need to be treated morally and ethically but we have to make sure we're not inflated we have to make sure we're not self-exalting we have to make sure we're not boasting in ourselves, and we definitely need to make sure we're not gloating and i take such pride in my achievements that i'm dogging out the next person or i'm gloating over you because i won or i received victory this i'm saying well i'm this and you aren't and I think it's so easy from just personally or what I found for pride to slip in and pride to define us and pride to justify us. And you can find yourself in some very prideful places, especially if you find yourself where you talk about yourself way more than you uplift or you talk about others, right? And so James 4 and 6 already says he's going to give more grace. He's going to show more favor to those that are humble, but he's going to oppose. He's going to be against those that are proud and for me, another part of this was meditating on the scripture, John 12 and 32. And it says, and if I be lifted up right from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. And I started meditating and digging and eating that part. Well, if my focus is on the death, the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ and what he has said my assignment is on this earth, then it removes this thing from me of being too prideful because Christ becomes my center. His assignment becomes my center. And perhaps we should start this day with asking God a question, right? Because I think we become prideful when we build ourselves up on other things. But I think if God is at the root of everything and we begin our day or our lives from this point forward and dealing with our private pl private prideful places and saying god why am i here and what do you want me to do for your glory right and how can i serve you more for me i began to deal with the pride in me because for me for me personally where i was prideful was because i really didn't understand my value of who i was to god on this earth and i was establishing my value 
and other things and my degrees and my accomplishments and and popularity and things that that did not mean anything according to the cross did not mean anything according to God's expectation of me and him getting his will done through me on the earth and we can be that that's the foundation so I guess the thing is why am I here God what do you want from me what can I do for you how can I serve you more has probably got to be the foundational question first so that we can be de begin to deal with the prideful places in us because if I don't get that then it's going to be easy for me to self-exalt. It's easy going to be easy for me to live for myself. It's going to be easy for me to get the glory when God will get the glory. And if the, the resurrection, the burial, the, the whole process, the ascension of Jesus Christ and why Jesus is here isn't our total focus and how we're supposed to be an extension of Jesus Christ on this earth isn't our focus, then it's so easy for us to become prideful, I am your witness. I thought more degrees was gonna make me more successful. And God was saying to me, no, Lakeisha, more of me is what's going to make you successful and less of you exalting me. If you exalt me up, right? If you exalt me up, if you're in my purpose and your will, that's gonna look differently. And you're not gonna have a whole lot of room to talk about yourself. So can we chew on that? Can we meditate on that? Can we just ask God to show us, Lord, creating us a clean heart, renewing us a steadfast spirit. Show us the places in our lives that are prideful and that do not line up with your will for our life. And we thank you, Father God, for extending us more grace in the areas in which we've been prideful, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the mind of Christ so that we can walk in your perfect will on this earth. Holy Spirit, come show us the things in our heart that do not look like God, that exalts our thinking, that uh, brings us into places where we're so accomplished on our achievements and those things when we need to have our focus on Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for just your grace, mercy, and love, and all you called us to be in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to know more about the ministry, get connected at LakeishaMJohnson.com.